Door News presents... Zoo. You're right, sir. Asteroids are close. You don't need to ask the government. It's not there. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hey, if you don't shut up, I shall fireball your face. Thor News presents... Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Hit the button, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club Monster Mash Edition. Not only do we have Superstar Asteroid 2015 Totally Bad 145, the monster-sized asteroid of 650 meters coming within 1.3 lunar distances of Earth on Halloween, but it is coming with a whole lot of friends. There are going to be 43 near-Earth asteroids from October 20th through November 7th. 24 of these asteroids have been found in 2015. That is over 50%. And 13 of those are going to be bigger than 100 meters. So they're going to be small mountains or large hills. So, this is a win-win-lose-lose situation. Because by reporting on asteroid data, I win amongst the winners. Just letting you know what I know. And then I lose-lose with the losers. Because by reporting on asteroid data, they get butt hurt for some reason. They're like, you're a fear monger. And I'm like, no, I'm just going over the data which NASA has given to us. And then I also lose with the, like, red blue pillars. Who are like, everything NASA says is a lie. And well... That may or may not be true. I think by pointing out all the data that NASA gives us, I'm allowing for you to make your own decision. And now we have a lot of giant close asteroids coming by. But as far as we know, these are just numbers on a screen. It's not like we have a satellite floating out in space taking photographs or video of these asteroids as they pass by for some reason. The only thing we ever get are they're like these black and white 1940s Ed Wood radio photographs of asteroids for some reason like you would think we could like all these asteroids that come within one lunar distance we could just throw a little magnetic thing on it magnetic camera and then follow that asteroid around but we know we never do cool shit like that so i'm just saying man i'm presenting the data as it is presented to me in a public forum by nasa you know like if that offends you i'm sorry if you're offended i'm even showing nasa data i'm sorry but either way i'm gonna keep going so this is halloween and yeah it's a little doomy because that is a large number of brand new asteroids, especially between the 27th and 31st, you know? And Astromod and his buddies may come on and be like, no, look at the data. This is totally normal. And all this will probably pass by and nothing will happen. All I'm doing is reporting upon the data, man. You know, that's all I'm trying to do. And we have a bunch of asteroids coming through that are big, man. You know? Okay, sweet. I love you. Let's get to the data and the fancy stuff. Let's take a look at their orbits, shall we? Let's take a look at the actual orbits. We got Touchdown 144 coming through. 2015 Totally Vain. Tarzan 143 goes almost out to Jupiter. Asteroid Kill Tingle 121. It sticks in Earth orbit and that goes out a little beyond. 2015 Titan Xylophone 178. Asteroid 2015 Tabasco Asshole 206 goes almost out to Jupiter. Asteroid 2015, Jughead Denial, 1, Earth, Mars, sharing orbit. Asteroid 2015, Totally Funky, goes out between Earth and beyond Mars. Asteroid Titanosaur, Love, 38. Asteroid Taco Lounge, 20, that's a happy place, goes out to the Ceres area, shares an orbit with Earth. Asteroid Taekwondo, 1, goes out beyond Mars, goes out beyond Mars, shares Earth's orbit. Asteroid 2015, Texas, 24, shares an orbit with Mercury, crossing all of the inner terrestrial planets orbits asteroid university of houston goes out to the ceres vesta region asteroid tambourine rolls 238 goes out to the ceres vesta region asteroid university of cauliflower goes out to the ceres vesta region asteroid thor news 145 shares an orbit with earth and outside mars asteroid roadhead 2 shares an orbit with mars and uh earth i can't think for some reason hey <laughs> okay 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 i'll calm down i'm calming down i'm calming down right now just breathe okay Memories. Okay, great. Asteroid. Big boy. Totally bad 145. And the high inclination means that it comes up from the down. Starts down, comes up. Uh, man, if that smacked us, that'd be really bad. Asteroid. Sex cold 17. I don't know what that means, man. Orbit. Mars. Earth. Asteroid. Tangerine denial 145. That goes out to the Ceres Vesta region. See, notice how most of them are flat. Semi-flat. Asteroid. Too good. 238 goes out to the Ceres Vesta region and in between Mars and Earth for its orbit. Asteroid Totally Dumb 179 goes out to the Ceres Vesta region. So like I said, this is a whole lot of asteroids. 
that were just found this year that are coming in about the same time. So maybe we're just hitting a patch. Okay, so to rest your easy mind, like, this data could all be fake. Meaning if you don't believe anything NASA says, then you don't have to believe any of this. B, the Earth seems to have its own protective systems in place that push a lot of the rocks away before they even get here. And C, our government is probably totally lying to us about the technology they have. So if there was a killer asteroid incoming, they could zap it with their ion rail gun and we would be safe. Or that, I guess you can go with the, like, D, conspiracy theory of they could fib about the data and then fake an asteroid explosion. I don't know, man. It's just stay positive, monsters. Halloween, I'm scared. Are you scared? Just point out the data. Okay, great. So there, yeah, not only do you have super mega duper totally bad asteroid coming pretty close, the high condition code, and it's giant. Uh, it's also going really, really fast compared to the asteroids. So that's interesting. Well, I'll keep you posted, and I'll keep watching this nerd chart. Peace out. Wait, hold up with your bad self. I just, that is relative velocity. Relative velocity in kilometers and seconds. Kilometers per second. And if, if you'll notice, there's a wide range. And the thing that is most interesting is that our star of the show asteroid, asteroid 2015, totally bad 145, totally bad 145, is by far the fastest of all of these asteroids. The second closest was also found in 2015, TX24, tantalizing Xanadu. Asteroid 2015, tantalizing Xanadu 24. There's only two 30s on this whole chart, or three. There's only three 30s on this whole chart, and, the, and that one's big, too. Okay, so yes, the one thing that, now that NASA's getting in on the discussion, they're talking about its odd orbit. Yeah, it's pretty odd. I wonder what's right here. We're still at condition code eight. It's one of the other things, one of the other things that makes this very interesting is it has a condition code of eight. Nine being the worst, zero being the best. So as I said before, at best, their guess is a D minus, by their own admission. They just found it ten days ago, and have looked at it nine times a day. And have looked at it nine times a day. So, you know, this story is interesting either way. And NASA has even gotten in on the jig. News.com Australia. NASA. Oh, and I do want to correct. In the other video, I said, I think I was the first person that found this. But I was wrong. BP Earthwatch found it first. Uh, so kudos to him to be the gold medal winning nerd in this situation. Where we go through all the sun data and the asteroid data as us weirdo nerdos do. Oh, okay. I wanted that gold medal though. But congratulations. NASA predict huge asteroid will just miss Earth as it zips past this Halloween. This Halloween just got a whole lot scarier with the discovery of a huge asteroid hurtling towards Earth. The space rock dubbed 2015 Totally Bad 145 was only discovered less than a fortnight ago by astronomers using the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii. The asteroid is on an extremely eccentric and high inclination orbit, explained NASA. Wow, NASA can explain stuff? Like, is his body? I don't get it. Explained NASA. Shouldn't it be a person that said that? I mean, NASA doesn't talk, do they? What the hell? Now I'm confused. This whole article says, said NASA. Explain NASA. Explained NASA. Said NASA. Really? NASA talks? What the hell? This is so crazy. This is the closest approach by a known object this large until 1999 AN10. Approaches within one lunar distance on August 2027. Said NASA. See, like, I don't know how NASA says stuff. It's got to be like a NASA scientist, wouldn't you, wouldn't you think? Unless the AI came out of there now and is giving interviews. I'd, I'd like to ask it some questions. All right, so yeah, even NASA's waiting in on I told you they'd get in on this story, and more people will. It is interesting. Nobody's really talked about all the other giant asteroids, which we will look at here in a second. Okay, let me stop that one.